On your side tonight continues now. Good evening and thanks for staying with us here at 730. In our normal day to day routines, life can quickly feel hectic. Stress mounts up and we can ignore taking care of ourselves or listening to our bodies. A survey by Ohio State University talked to more than 2000 Americans ages 18 and older, and they found 47% of those under age 45 don't think they're at risk for heart disease. Now, young people are at a lesser risk, but they are certainly not immune. Though they do have the resilience to bounce back this week, Buffalo Bills DeMar Hamlin returned to the practice field for the upcoming NFL season. You may remember the healthy 24 year old athlete suffered cardiac arrest back in January on primetime television. Hamlin survived with the help of a devoted medical team from both the NFL and the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. Months after his brush with death, Hamlin was cleared to return to the NFL. You never know when you could be that hero. Uh, you never know when you could be called upon to save a life. Um, and it's, it's really important. Hamlin's story has brought broader awareness on the importance of heart health for young athletes from the professional level down to our local high schools. High school athletics is important to the community, nowhere more than a small town. When a student athlete collapsed at a track meet in 2015, the community stepped up to ensure student athletes have healthy hearts. It's called the Heart of a Husky program in Ashe County, a first of its kind in the state, and is now spread to surrounding counties. WBTV photojournalist Gregory Simpson brings us the story. Today we're at Ashe County High School. That we're at the home of the Huskies. We're a very rural area and uh, one high school. We have a lot of really great programs, athletic programs as well as social programs, and definitely some great academic programs. Having one high school, everyone loves our Huskies. Our students play sports from the time they're small and they're Huskies all the way up. Today we are having our annual Heart of a Husky program. It's athletic physicals for grades seven through 12. Have you a seat right there beside you? Uh, we do not only the athletic physical, but we also do a heart healthy check as well. The Heart Healthy Check includes an EKG that is read by a, a cardiologist, a pediatric cardiologist. If needed, if there is anything flagged in that EKG, we have a um, pediatric technician, echo technician, who can read that EKG and perform an echo if needed. North Carolina uh, High School Association, they have a minimal requirement to participate in sports in North Carolina, and that's what we've done historically forever and, and you have to, to participate in sports in North Carolina. What we've done here at Ash with the Heart of the Huskies is we've taken that and added on to it over the years. Um, we do uh, EKG testing for all of our athletes. It's important. You can have uh, undiagnosed arrhythmias and electrical problems uh, that can uh, be significantly impactful when somebody's uh, participating in sports. So you, you find some conduction delays uh, and it's undiagnosed. Anything that we find we get, we refer to an echocardiogram, we do an ultrasound of the heart, look at the valves, look at the function of the heart and make sure things are, are working well there. And we've had uh, more than one student that's been referred and seen a cardiologist and had an ablation to get rid of a bare pathway. Those can, athletes can have a, dramatic uh, cardiac arrest. So we've uh, found found some of those and treated them before in this screening program. This ball comes back, hits somebody in the chest, and you hear about children falling over, kids falling over, young adults falling over, and they have an arrhythmia. Uh, occasionally they get them back with a defibrillator. Sometimes we don't. That's the reason we set this up. If we can avert one catastrophe is why this is set up. Have we diverted one? Who knows, but we've definitely found some arrhythmias that we've had treated, so we think we've done something uh, better. We think we've better, built a better mousetrap. So yes, there can be you know, severe complications on rare occasions, thank God, and we think we've cut that even lower. The Heart of the Husky program was born right here by uh, an idea from a, a parent, Amy, who you heard from earlier, in partnership with Blue Ridge Energy, and now, it has spread to all of the high schools across our service area. Just this year alone, we've seen um, 1,500, or through the part of programs, they've seen 1,500 students just this year. 
we're a small community. It's important for every community, but everybody is, you know, it takes a community to raise a child. It started with a regular turn your head and cough, make sure you don't have hernias, make sure that you're healthy enough to play sports, and, and with, that's like we've always done. Uh, but we felt we needed to take it to uh, another level with our sponsors, the hospital, you know, Blue Ridge Electric, uh, the whole uh, community piled in on this and said, let's do everything we can. And uh, the nice thing is we can bring them all here at the high school and over uh, a Friday evening and a Saturday during the day, anybody who wants to participate can come in. It's free of charge. You get the EKG, you get a cardiologist to see it. And we do the impact testing. We do the regular physical exam. And the children are ready to go. The kids are ready to go for the next year. And so, so you get them all done here at the end of the school year. And um, we just, as a small community, we came together and said this is how we want to do for our kids and make it you know, economical for them and the best as can be for, for their health. We want to make sure that our students are safe. Uh, we want to make sure that their hearts are healthy as well. But not only for just athletics, for their adulthood as well. Healthy hearts for the kids, maybe some peace of mind for the parents. Tell us your thoughts. You can connect with us on Instagram and Twitter using the hashtag OYS tonight. You can also scan the QR code. We always love to hear from you.